A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust and a hearty high oh silver, the Lone Ranger. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! Master big fellow, I'll silver. When the Lone Ranger went to San Francisco to combat the Barbary Coast, he rescued Sally Gerson from abductors and in so doing made a steadfast friend of her father. At the same time, he made ruthless enemies who would stop at nothing to get rid of him. The masked man fully realized the power and depravity of the leaders of the Barbary Coast the most dangerous spot in the world. He knew that Dirk Gimlet, owner of the Thunderbolt Cafe, had already sent Bart Sage to kill him and would do it again. We find the masked man with Tonto in their camp on the outskirts of the city. It's sunset and the evening meal is finished. Doesn't seem the same without Dan around, Tonto. Uh, you think it better Dan be with Bob Gerson? Yes. Bob is Dan's own age and Bob's father is one of the most influential men in California. They may be sure that Arnold Gerson will select the best school for his own son. Dan will go to the same school. Uh, plenty about Indian and woodcraft that Dan not learn in school. Yes, I know, Tonto. There's a lot of history in government and other knowledge that Dan can get only in a school. We'll miss him. It's the best thing for him. Uh, and what you do now? The Barbary Coast must be smashed. Men like Dirk Gimlet break every written and unwritten law and get away with it. Officials are powerless to stop them. They've made their dives regular strongholds with a dozen secret exits in case things get too hot. Gimlet hire a fella to kill you. Yes, Bart Sage. You not get law on him? Nothing could be proved against Gimlet, Tonto. And Sage is just one of his tools. Mm, that's right. We've got to get Gimlet himself. And after Gimlet, many others like him. We go to Barbary Coast tonight? Hell, we've got to get Gimlet before he gets us. There's just one man I know we can count on. Feller named Jimmy? Yes, Kimosabe. He's going to meet us as soon as it gets dark. Then we'll make our move against Dirk Gimlet. While the Lone Ranger made plans for the evening, Dirk Gimlet met his hired killer in the rear room that served as an office for the Thunderbolt Cafe. I'm not blaming you for missing your chance to get the Lone Ranger, Sage. But I'll see that there's no second slip-up. If I could locate his camp, I could sneak up in the dark and put a slug in both the masked man and that Indian friend of his. You think he'd let himself be surprised? Don't be a fool. It'll take some smart handling to get the Lone Ranger, and I've got plans. Uh, yeah? 
Remember that friend of his, the sailor he saved? The uh, one that helped him rescue Sally Gerson? Yes. Sure, I remember him. His name's uh, Jim something or other. I never did know his last name. Jim is enough to last him as long as he'll live, which won't be long. Come over here to the trap door on the floor. I can't see. It's dark down there. Hold this lantern and you can see. Oh, thanks. Hey, ain't that Jim? Jim is right. Hogtied and gagged. Where'd you get him, Gimlet? It didn't take much asking to find out where he was staying. I had a couple of men bring him here. You uh, aim to Shanghai him? No. Sometimes, Sage, I think you ain't got the brains of a fool. That man is bait. Bait? Sure. The Lone Ranger will learn that he's a prisoner here. He'll come after him, and we'll get the Lone Ranger. Yeah, I don't know. What's the matter with that? Close that trap door again. Uh, Gimlet, the Lone Ranger ain't stupid enough to walk into any trap like that. Shh. Come over this way while I tell you the real scheme. Huh? Keep your voice down. I wanted Jim to hear me say that he was to serve as bait for the Lone Ranger. Uh, well, he heard that all right. But that ain't the plan at all. No. Not by a darn sight. Come on out in the big room. All right. Yeah, there are not many people here. It's too early. They'll be here later. Hey, I seen the fat Nell still waiting on table. Yep, she's handy to have around for special jobs, like the one tonight. And she waits on tables in between. Yeah, that girl's just right for what I got in mind tonight. A face as sweet as you could want in a manner that's real fine and ladylike when she wants it to be. Hey, Nell. Yes, Mr. Gimlet. Did you call me? I told you about the plan I had. Oh, yes, sir. But first, I want to see the color of your money. Here's part of it on account. That's more like it. What about the rest? You get it when the job is done. You'll be paid. You want me to go down the tunnel right now? Yes, but go to the shore and come in through the cave, not through the trap door. Right. Whatever you say, Mr. Gimlet. Half an hour later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto waited in their darkened camp. No fire glowed in the night. There was nothing to reveal the campsite to anyone who didn't know exactly where it was. Jim knows where the camp is, Tonto. He should be here by this time. Maybe something happened. Maybe better me go to Barbary Coast alone and try to find out about Jim. No, Kimosabe. We wait a little longer. Then if he doesn't show up, we'll both go to the Thunderbolt. You use disguise? No, not tonight. I plan to enter Gimlet's office through the tunnel that leads to the coast. I thought you, Jim, and I could corner Sage and Gimlet in Gimlet's office. Try to make Sage sign a confession that he tried to murder me and that Gimlet hired him. I. Silver, here's something. Yes. Back here, Tonno. Someone is coming. Maybe that Jim. Yes, it is Jim. I can see him against the sky. Circle around back of him and make sure he wasn't followed here. Uh, me go. Hi there. Here, Jim. Downright lucky to be here. What a time I've had. Well, what happened? Plenty happened. I was captured by Dirk Gimlet. You were? Yes. I didn't think he'd locate me in that room I'd rented, but he did. And he had me brought to that tunnel that runs under his office. I see. He showed me to Bart Sage, that weasel-faced killer. They figured on keeping me there till you come to rescue me. Then they'd get you. Well, how did you get away? Well, it was because of the sweetest girl in the whole world. Sally Gerson? Oh, not her. Of course, she's sweet and pretty, too. But for me to say that she's a right fine lady is like saying that the stars are pretty... Or the sun is nice and warm. We're that far apart. But Nell is sweet. And I can say it without seeming too brash. She's the one that saved me. How? I was tied and gagged down in that tunnel, wondering how I could get loose. I could hear the waves washing the shore at the far end of the tunnel. Then I heard steps of someone approaching. I thought it might be you. Then I knew it wasn't a man's walk. But it turned out to be Nell. And I could tell in the dark that she was pretty. She had to be pretty with a voice like hers. Please, don't make any noise. I'm going to take the gag from your mouth and untie your hands. I have a knife. It won't take but a moment. <laughs> there, Jim. Now you can speak. I, I don't savvy this. Who are you? I must set you free. You and your masked friend are the only ones who can help me. You must help me before it's too late. Help you what? My name is Nellie. You've seen me waiting on tables in the Thunderbolt. Worked for Mr. Gimlet for the past year. Now I remember your voice. There. Yeah. Now you're free to stand. Take my hand. I'll lead you out of here. But don't make a sound. Gimlet would kill me if he knew. Kelly, those ropes were plenty tight. This way. 
Can you walk? Sure. To get out of here, I'd walk on red-hot coals. Gimlet knows that since my husband died, I've had the little baby to take care of. Getty's paid me almost nothing. Now he says that I've got to help with the gambling tables. Those crooked games of his. Or he'll cut my salary even lower. I, I can't do that. And there ain't an honest game in the whole Bowery Coast. I know. That's why I've got to get away from here. I can't stay here and be a crook like all those others. But Jim, what did she want you and me to do? Well, somehow it's got learned around that a padre at a mission south of here sent you to the Barbary Coast. Oh, yes. Well, Nell figured that if she let me go, you'd go to her place and tell her how to get to that mission. She has a friend who'll lend her a horse. I understand, Jim. It's all right, Kimosabe. You're sure he wasn't followed here, Tata? Uh-uh. Him not followed. It won't take long to go to Nell's house. Then we can go ahead with our plans to make Sage and Gimlet squeal. You know where this girl's living? Yes, yeah, she told me. It's a little cabin just outside the town. You can make good time if you ride. Very well. Your friend Dan didn't leave his horse here, did he? No, Jim, but you can ride with me. Well, that'll be fine. Well, can Silver carry the two of us? <laughs> what, what is it? Silver carry two riders plenty time. Here, Silver. And me get scout. You've had little to do these past few days, Silver. Tonight you can use some exercise, silly big fella. All right, give me your hand, Jim, and I'll help you up. Right. That does it. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. While the Lone Ranger, Jim and Tonto, headed for the cabin, Dirk Gimlet, Nell, and the killer Bart Sage were already there to set the stage for murder. I'd feel a sight more comfortable if I didn't have to be here myself. Nothing will happen to you, Nell. I'm not sure of that. I've handled blasting powder plenty. I was a prospector before I found out the easy way to make money. Sage, did you bring in that keg of powder? Yeah. Uh, Get it right here. You better let me hold the cigar if you're going to handle powder. Now lift the keg inside. <coughs> lift, Sage. Do you want me to do it alone? <coughs> Where's that piece of fuse? Uh, here you are. Good. Now we run this from the keg into the grate of the stove. As soon as the fire is built, the fuse is lighted, and a minute later, the whole thing goes sky high. There's enough powder here to blow up a dozen places this size. Oh, and enough to blow up the Lone Ranger. <laughs> you sure got it. You won't see the fuse, will he? No, 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 it can't be seen. Just to make double sure, I'll sprinkle a few of these wood ashes over it. Yeah, now, give me that paper now. Here. I'll lay a fire here and have it all set for lighting. You know the part you're to play, don't you, Nell? Sure. I just asked him to build the fire so as I can warm the baby's food. That's it. While he's doing that, I'll tell him I've got to go next door to the Jackson house where the baby's supposed to be. Yeah, that'll do it. Hand me those hunks of wood, Sage. Yeah. There they are. <laughs> this will do it up brown. And when it happens, we'll all be at the Thunderbolt with a score of people who swear we had no part in it. The only thing I'm worried about is that we won't be able to watch the Lone Ranger and his friends go sailing sky high. Now... Get back to the Thunderbolt. Nell, when you make believe you're going after the young'un, come straight to the cafe. Right. After the explosion, you'll be a heroic figure. Folks will think some ornery galoot tried to hurt me by murdering you. <laughs> it's the slickest scheme I ever worked out. A few minutes later, the Lone Ranger reined up outside the small house. Jim saw the light gleaming from the window and turned to the mask man. Oh, poor kid. She's in there getting together her things to take away with her. Isn't the love of a mother for a child a wonderful thing, though? Yes, Jim. Certainly is. Steady. We all go inside. One of us should stand guard here. Uh, me do it. Right. Let us know if anyone comes, Tonto. Uh, me watch. Now... It's a man you wanted to see. The Lone Ranger's here. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. What?
Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto didn't suspect that when they went with Jim to help a girl whom the young Texan friend admired, they were being lured into a death trap. They didn't know that Nell was cunningly contriving to cause a fire to be kindled in the stove, a fire that would result in a shattering blast. To think that I'm looking at the Lone Ranger. I can't believe it. Are you ready to start for the mission? Uh, not quite. I must get Baby and feed him, and then I'll be ready. Just wait until I go to the neighbors and get him, won't you? Sure thing we will, Miss Nell. If you want to save time, Jim, you might build a fire in the stove while I'm gone. It might save time. It will, Jimmy. That is, if you've got to give the young one hot food. Seems like a needless risk, though. Can't he go without one meal? Risk? Well, Gimlet is sure to miss you. The evening's business is in full swing at the Thunderbolt. He'll come here to see why he ain't at work, won't he? Not right away. We'll have time. You wouldn't want me to take Baby on a trip all the way to San Carlo without food, would you? So you're going to take the baby to San Carlo? Uh, yes. To the little mission there? Yes, we'll be safe there. You think you can make the trip at night? It isn't a bad trail, if you've been over it before. But for the first well, time, I... I, I, I think should I... think you'd be safer nearby till morning. Maybe with the neighbors. Oh, I can make the trip all right. Very well. Say, now, you better go and get the little fellow then. We'll see about preparing hot food for him. Yes. Yes, right away. Everything all right, Toto? Uh-huh. Everything all right. Don't you want to wait inside? Oh, me wait here. That's plenty good. I won't be long. I'll borrow a horse from the neighbors. Where her go? Toto, follow her and find out. Then hurry back here and let me know. Don't let her know she's being followed. Uh, me do it. Hey, see here. There's something wrong. You bet there is, Jim. She told you she wanted to find out how to reach the mission. Yeah. But she forgot herself and indicated that she knew where the mission was and how to get there. That struck me as strange. But I might have told her it was at San Carlo. I don't remember. Jim, someone has recently been here with a cigar. A cigar? Yeah. See, I don't savvy this at all. Well, it sure beats me. Well, I'll get the fire started anyhow. Chances are that Nell can explain... Jim, uh, look here by the stove. Huh? Cigar ashes on the floor. Is that what those are? Oh, let me have a match to light the stool, will you, please? I used my last one. Wait. Here you are. I'll start the fire. Ah, of all the fool things. Oh? Huh? What is it? Look at the way this fire is laid in the stove. Paper and logs, but no kindling. Done the race and you couldn't start a fire that way, no matter what kind of a draft you had. I'll have to get some... Wait. Kindling. Hold on, Jim. Hmm? There are a lot of contradictions about that girl. Now, if she's such a fine housekeeper and a good mother, where are the baby's things? There are no cooking utensils of any sort. Oh, Nell does her eating at the cafe. Yes, but the baby doesn't. What does she intend to feed the baby? Jim. Gimlet smokes cigars. Let's look at this another way. Yes? Suppose he wanted us here. What if he sent Nell to untie you, to send you after me? Ah. If that's the case, why did lighting the fire play a part? Why are the cigar ashes near the stove? Why was a fire laid by someone who knows nothing about building a fire? Let me see that stove. Hey, hey you're messing up the place, throwing that wood around. Wait. There's the last of it. Now, take this paper. We'll look farther. I think that I... What is it? Oh, hold on a minute. Let me see where this goes. Huh? Jim, look inside the oven. Well, what in chunk it is that? Powder, explosive. And here's a fuse that ran to the paper in the stove. Jim, if you'd lighted that, we'd have been blown to kingdom come. Well, I'll be first cousin to a horned toad. If that pretty girl... Here, here, take this cake. <coughs> I got it. I'll put it outside and then come with me. Where are you going? To the Thunderbolt. And I'll bet we'll find the girl there. Coming toward us. Is that Tonto? Yes. Aye, Kimo Sabe. Oh, it's Count Hopkana. Oh, Hopkana. Me, me hurry back. Where did the girl go? Her go all the way to Thunderbolt Cafe. Oh, that's what we wanted to know. Jim, 
There'll be a lot of action in the next half hour. The law might be interested. The law? As soon as we get into town, go after Tom Conover. I've learned that he's one honest lawman. Take him to Nell's house and stay out of sight. Instead of going directly to the Thunderbolt Cafe, the Lone Ranger and Tonto skirted the disreputable community and went to the coast. Then, in almost utter darkness, they made their way along the shoreline slowly, carefully, studying the landmarks as they went. Uh, right along here somewhere, Tonto. Ah. Maybe that tunnel up ahead. Yes, I, I think it is. We leave horse here? No, uh, we'll leave them just inside the entrance of the tunnel. So they went for it, eh, Nell? Sure they did. But I hate myself for my part in this thing. Yeah, that sure was a slick idea, Gimlet. Eh, come on in my office. You'll get paid. Don't worry about that. Now? Come on back into the office. All right, but I'm wise to that trap door on the floor. Don't try any of your tricks on me. Oh, don't be so doggone suspicious. Come on in, Sage. Yeah. <laughs> plenty of people outside, Gimlet. Yep. And making plenty of noise. A gun could be fired in here and no one would notice it. People don't inquire too close about a gunshot anyway. Do they now? What are you getting at? Go ahead, Sage. This will be a pleasure. Hey, what's the idea? You fool. Did you think I'd leave you alive with something to hold over my head? So that's it. Why, you dirty, lying, double-crossing rat, you... Give me Go ahead, case. Sage. Fire and get it over with. I wouldn't. Yeah. You... The mass man. Got the gun. First time... <laughs> Keep hands on desk. Both of you here. Have all that. Gimlet. We're going over to Nell's to do some talking. A lot of things I want answered. Open the trap door, Tonto. Uh, it's a... Tonto, you go down first and cover these three as they go down. Without a word of what he planned, the Lone Ranger forced the girl and the two conspiring men to go ahead of himself and Tonto to the cottage. The lamp still glowed on the table. The wood that had been taken from the stove was back in place. Nell glared at Gimlet with hatred, then at the masked man with anxiety. Well, now that we're all here, maybe you'll tell us why. When you left a little while ago, Tonto followed you. You didn't go to the people next door at all. You went directly to the Thunderbolt. What of it? I'm... Uh... Curious to know about this child. There is no child. Why did you tell Jim there was one? I'm not answering your questions. You fool, couldn't you see that you were being followed? You shut up, Gimlet. Look here, mister. All I know is that Gimlet told me to get you here and then leave. When I got back to his cafe, he told Bart Sage to shoot me. Then you stepped out from a corner of the room. Yes, Nell. We got into the office while you and your friends were in the dining room. Well, You've heard all I've got to tell. Make up your mind what you're going to do about it. Maybe you'll tell us where we broke any laws. Of course, there's no use trying to accuse you of attempted murder. Nell wouldn't file the charges against you. She wouldn't live to see the trial if she did. She knows that. Look. Look here, Lone Ranger. You don't know half the way the Barbary Coast is run. Everyone there sticks together. Gimlet can say what he likes, and a hundred of his pals will swear that he tells the truth. I know the coast. I'm a part of it. Aren't you afraid you'll be killed when these two get the chance? Not unless I want to get more cash from Gimlet. There's been no crime, so there's nothing I can hold over his head. He won't shoot me now. I'll go back. I've got to. People don't bake away from the Barbary Coast and live. Yeah. Now what are you going to do? Have you any suggestions, Toto? Mm, well, we, we make fire here. Might get cold. Hey! You may as well leave us go. There's no hurry, Gimlet. I have a lot more questions. Gimlet, the Redskin's making a fire. Look, that stove doesn't work. The chimney's plugged. If smoke come into room, time to fix chimney. You have a match? Ah, uh, he got one. Hey, leave my stove alone. Sage, what's the matter with you? You look as if you were afraid of something. Come on, Sage, we'll get out of here. Yeah, let's get going. Stay where you are. I said I wanted to ask questions. Hey, the paper in that stove's burning. You gotta let us go. Let me get that stove. Sit down. No, the oven. There's blasting powder there. What are you talking about? He's right. He's right. There's a fuse to the powder. The whole place will blow up. How do you know, Gimlet? This is Nell's home. Those two put it there. They put it there to kill you. Put that fire out. Is this true? Now wait. Wait yes, a minute. It's true. It's true. Put out that fire. You're confessing to an attempted murder. 
You know that? I don't care. I'd sooner do that than be blown up. I'm going to get that powder out of there. Shoot me if you want to. Well, Sage? Gone. Blasting powder's gone. Yes, we took it out an hour ago. So that's it. The Redskin built the fire to trick us into confessing. That was a general idea. <laughs> that won't get you any place, mister. It's your word against theirs, and they'll Not have... exactly, Nell. Jim! The marshal! Put the hands up, Gillen. You too, Sage. The uh, police officers. Witnesses heard it all. They've got proof enough to make sure of a good long jail term for these two. I'm glad of it. You had it coming, Gimlet. You'll never take me unless you come to the Thunderbolt and get me. Stop him. The window. He'll get away. He forgot that men don't run with a shot in the leg. And lawmen here can shoot. Officer, now this girl. It's your party, masked man. We're obliged to you for getting evidence against Sage and Gimlet. What about the girl? Nell, you'll have to stand trial. But if you tell all you know about Gimlet and his gang, the law may let you off with a light sentence. I'll tell. I'll tell the truth. And then, if you really did go to the party at San Carlo... Would he help me? Help me get away from the Barbary Coast? Here, take this to him. He'll understand. Come, Tonto, Jim, we're not needed here. Don't move, Sage. Well, you won this row with the Barbary Coast. To San Carlo. The mission. With this. A silver bullet. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.